Hi team, in this one right here, we're gonna look at the stages or steps in the fluent stage of writing. Uh, I want you to understand that there's there's a, a process here. So we're gonna go from basic sentences to more complete sentences to eventually paragraphs, okay? But I want you to take a moment and I want you to read over what it says about the fluent stage of writing, okay? Practicing in the fluent stage, inventive spelling. Um, that's going to always, that's going to be constantly that, that spelling and encoding process and or orthographic mapping process is going to continue to develop as they grow. But what we're looking at here is the sentence structure, how we start to see, we go from, uh, phrases to sentences to, um, um, sentences that have been edited and multi-sentence responses. So again, we're looking at phrases, sentences um um edited sentences and and multi-sentence responses so it's going to get more expand it's going to expand right um in the early stages <coughs> these phrases there's a lot of inventive spelling going on yes and then as as that child's writing expands we're going to see hey they're getting a complete sentence maybe they're getting a complete sentence there's more words that are spelled correctly uh, we're also going to see maybe some punctuation going on, capital letters, periods, question marks, quotations. We're going to see more punctuation emerge into that sentence. And then eventually, we're going to see longer sentences, more punctuation, more, more words spelled correctly, multiple sentences. All right. Let's look at some examples, uh, how we can look. Let's So that first one right there is writing in phrases, right? So let's look at this one right here. This is the life cycle of a snowman. This is an activity that my daughter did in, when she was uh, in uh, kindergarten. And I think they uh, they took the snowman and they uh, little the teacher took a little snowman and she was teaching the uh, stages, uh, phases of matter. So a solid, a liquid, a gas. And she she took the snowman and she put him on a little oven and in front of everybody, she, she roasted Frosty. Yep, that's right. She roasted Frosty and the kids saw Frosty go from a solid to a liquid to a pile of mush. <laughs> but here we have this right here. First, he was a solid. Next, he was a liquid. Last, he was gas. Now, this is using a sentence frame, and I get it. This is at that really early stage. So the, in this activity here, with the scaffolding and with the support from the teacher, the child is beginning to write a complete sentence, right? Now, there's a lot of heavy scaffolding going on. So Olivia, when she wrote this, was probably more at an emergent stage, uh, transitional stage. And with that scaffolding, we're getting something that's approaching a, a more fluent stage, a complete sentence, right? It's heavily scaffolded. But we begin, be, begin to see, you know, this language first and the comma. I know that's not the child writing it, but that child, if you put all these pieces together, we're getting a complete sentence, right? Next, he was a liquid. Again, we're approaching that complete sentence. Last, he was a gas. So... So in this way here, I thought this would be that a good example. If anything, it's a it's a step between transitional and fluent. And then as we go further, you know, um, in that child's writing journal, we're going to do a whole bunch of questions on writing journals. We're going to see more writing. The writing journal in the beginning is maybe going to be transitional, and it's or you know, um, it's going to in the beginning it's going to be preliterate and then emergent and then transitional. And then we start to see more of those stories and we start to see phrases turn into sentences and sentences maybe turn into multi-sentence stories. We're gonna get that, you know, that those stages of fluent. So when we see complete phrases and sentences and, and edited sentences and paragraphs, we're moving in, the, we're in that fluent stage, okay? Writing activities using a primary journal like something like this right here. You've seen these in, in early education, right? Where they allow the child to draw and write. They're really helpful. 
because they, they, they allow for a lot of flexibility for students at different levels of writing, whether they're at the uh, um, a preliterate, emergent, transitional, or fluent. It gives a lot of flexibility there. The child can draw a picture and they can write. They can, draw, uh, they can do this at the same time or they can just draw a picture, wh wh wherever they are in their writing. These do a really good job of supporting all those groups of students, okay? All right, uh, let's do some questions, all right?